What's going on, guys? I'm Gigi here, rocking out backstage of the City Walk with Tyrese and his baby girl. Yep. Oh my goodness, Tyrese, you are on top of the world right now. Fast 7, super successful. All the fans are talking about Fast 8 already, which is coming out in 2017. What do you want to see happen in the movie? Um, honestly, whenever we do one of the um, the movies, we just we work we work our butts off and. Um, we just hope to make the fans proud. I mean, as you know, there's a million movies, TV shows, and it doesn't mean that the fans want it or that they're gonna always show up. Um, they have these movies that are overhyped and oversold and then they just plummet. And so we try our best to create that perfect balance to invite the fans in so that they can experience something fun and entertaining and you know, I don't think any of us are really surprised at the success because, you know, we know the world loved and adored Paul Walker the way we did. And they just showed up to support his last beautiful art that he left the world with. So, you know, as we continue on this journey, we just hope that we don't disappoint the fans. It's more pressure than you could ever imagine yeah. to be working on a movie um, and, and hoping that the fans show up and they're actually happy with it. So we, we hope to, we hope to ride this wave as long as we can. As a major Tyrese fan myself, you know what else I want to see you in? What's that? Season two of Empire. Can we please make that happen? I know Taraji, your co-star from Baby Boy, said a little bit ago that if you were to play her love interest, the internet would absolutely explode. Well, you know, listen, I love Taraji. We started this thing together from uh, Baby Boy, and, you know, I, I feel like it would just me. It would be me jumping on the train of success that they already have created for themselves. I mean, I would love nothing more than to be a part of Empire in whatever way I can. I'll do catering, wardrobe. <laughs> I'll do whatever I can. You'll do makeup, hair. I'll do, I'll do whatever. I'll serve popcorn. Whatever I can do to be a part of it. I'm, I'm, so there is some talks. There's some conversations that's happening and. We'll just see what happens. When I was watching the fight on fight night, I thought about you seeing the national anthem at the Mayweather Madonna fight. You absolutely killed it. And your boy, Jamie, got some mixed responses on social media. How do you think he did? I mean, I think he did his thing. I mean, I don't think people around the world know how much pressure it is to sing with that many people watching. It doesn't matter how seasoned you are as a singer, getting out there, you know, you're in a room that's really big and hollow. You're wearing earpieces. Uh, there's, like, literally, I don't think there's anything that was happening in the world that had that many eyeballs on it. And you feel it. Yeah. I mean, every time I do the national anthem, only a couple of words into it, I just get cotton mouth. All the spit in my mouth just goes, <laughs> zoop, just goes away. And um, so I think Jamie did his thing out there, you know what I mean? Because I've been in that position and I know that pressure. Uh -huh. Um, it's only people like Beyonce that are used to getting on stage with that many eyeballs watching and you're able to hit it out the park like hands down. So And Tyrese too with a Twitter handle and the Facebook <laughs> social media on check right well, there. Social media is much easier than doing it live. So Definitely. all of my videos are pre-recorded then uploaded. So. <laughs>